As the Russian invasion of Ukraine continues, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described Russia's missile strikes in civilian areas of Kharkiv as war crimes. Tuesday, Zelensky accused Russia of engaging in terrorism, a day after Karim Khan, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. Horrific images and reports of civilian deaths, as well as rocket strikes in residential areas of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, have raised questions about whether Russia has violated international laws and norms governing conflict. From an international law perspective, a war crime is any. First, the conduct must be committed with a sufficient connection to an armed conflict. Second, the conduct must constitute a serious violation of the laws and customs of international humanitarian law that has been criminalized by international treaty or customary law. Ukraine petitioned the International Court of Justice on Saturday, saying Russia falsely manufactured claims of Gino. No single, globally accepted treaty lists all war crimes. A series of international statutes, conventions and norms have developed and identify a range of violations related to armed conflict that could be applicable in the crisis in Ukraine, experts told USA Today. Our understanding of what is allowed during conflict has evolved as societal standards draw. The concept of war crimes now covers more situations, types of harm and types of perpetrators than the first attempts to regulate armed conflict. The United Nations Office on Genocide Prevention and the Responsibility to Protect differentiates war crimes from genocide and crimes against humanity.